Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs just beat Aston Villa 3-1 at the lane. Uh, it's a strange feeling, really. Of course, we've got three more points in the bag. We're unbeaten in 10 games. We haven't lost since the first game of the season at Old Trafford. Can I complain about that as a Spurs fan? Of course I can't. It's been the best start we've had in years. Play, uh, played 11, won five, drawn five, lost one. Incredible. But I'm going to have a little complaint before I tell you how good it was before that little complaining section, which was the second half of the second half. On 70 minutes, Poch brought off Moussa Dembele, who I assume he's resting because he's playing so well at the moment or he's carrying a little injury. And we just lost control. It felt exactly the same as it did against Stoke earlier in the year when we were 2-0 up. He made a substitution and they came back at 2 all. Luckily for us this year, uh, this week, sorry, or since the Stoke game, I think he's really learned or the team have really learned from that situation. And we managed to shore it up. And of course, Harry Kane scored a great third uh, pretty much on full time. But to me, there are just things that you've got to you've got to learn, you know. I think teams who are uh, going for that top four spot, they don't really get themselves into situations like that, where you're playing against a team who are playing exactly how they have been all season, bottom of the table form. They didn't really have a kick for the whole game. And then suddenly by just kind of losing control, losing the will to kind of get behind, we kind of let them back into the game. Same thing happened against Anderlecht last week or the week before last. 1-0 up, absolutely cruising, playing against a team who are incredibly poor, and you let them back in the game, and Anderlecht ended up winning. Now, today, of course, that didn't happen, so we should just be positive. But I will say that in other situations, we could have ended up drawing today, and that would have left us all, I think, feeling like another opportunity has been missed. Anyway, it wasn't. I'm going to go through the team. Hugo didn't really have anything to do. Carl Walker had one of his best games for Spurs in a long time. He's recovering back, his pace. No one could get near him. He put in some great tackles. So well done, Carl. I haven't always been your biggest fan, but I know that you've got the talent. I just want it to come through all the time. Toby and Jan, what can you say? Just fantastic players. They play so well together. Danny Rose had a great game. Bit of a worry at the end. They picked up a knock. Ben Davis came on so fingers crossed he's going to be fine for Sunday feel free to rest him on Thursday Poch uh, Eric Dyer man of the match for me once again feet in everywhere little tackles winning the ball back doing it easy he made one bad pass that led to a chance second half but anyone can have that I'm going to give that to him I thought he was absolutely outstanding today Deli Ali, fantastic composure for his goal took it on his knee volleyed it into the bottom left hand corner Lamella was quiet didn't have a great game but worked hard Ericsson similar wasn't really into it uh, and Dembele again with Eric Dyer I'd say man of the match absolutely fantastic performance and then up front Harry Kane typical Harry Kane really did the hard work, did the donkey work, ran the channels, didn't really get many chances. He was trying to make something happen himself. And then the last minute, one chance, bangs it in. Everyone's delighted. No one's talking about him being a one season wonder anymore. And the, the press can just keep their mouths shut now and worry about other people. So all in all, Great win. You've got to beat those teams put in front of you. We all know we haven't done in previous years. Villa came here and won 1-0 last year. Stoke came here and won by 2 last year. 2-1, I think it was. And they're the kind of games we need to pick up the points in if by the end of the season, at the back end, we're still going to be involved in that top four, uh, top four fight, which I think we really can be now that Chelsea keep losing. I think we're nine points ahead of them now. I don't know exactly. I think we are, though, and we can really look ahead rather than look, looking back behind us. Let's really make this, make this momentum count for something. Go to Woolwich on Sunday and have a real good go. You know, let's just see if, what we can do out there. We won't be expected to get a result, but anything could happen. Anyway, guys, let us know if you agree with me in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.